I'm actually tempted to sing my welcome song right now. <laughs> but you guys, uh, you didn't like my welcome song for my last video. You insulted me, so I'm not going to sing. You people don't like good things now, so I'm not going to sing for you. And the old, say yes! I don't understand those people that used to say, say yes. So. Is it your yes? <laughs> After the old, say yes, say yes, say yes. What next? What is the f channel if you are just stopping by for the first time my name is Juliet welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back again again and again yeah so today we are going to be talking about events everything event no not everything event but today we are going to be talking about events I know um on February 14 now uh, there were so many uh uh, uh moments here and there people were just getting proposed to, uh, and so many proposal videos I know after the proposal, now most of you were like, okay, what next? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, you've collected the ring now, that ring. You collected it, so what next? What are you going to have? After engagement, you'll be married. Eh, hey, Nana, wait, Nana. Please, don't go and do a lot of the rings. <laughs> Sorry. Don't go and do a lot of the rings, though. After engagement, shapali, shapali. Now, wedding, straight up, no waste time. So today, I'm going to be giving you guys tips. Steps you need to follow to plan your wedding. I know most of you are stuck. You, most of you don't know what next. Most of you don't know what to do. Most of you are just confused. You know, you've never been in that situation now. You are engaged. Fine. Oh, yeah, Kiloku. What next? You don't know what to do. You don't know what step to what step to take. You don't know what to actually do. So I'm going to be giving you like 11 steps to plan your wedding 11 steps that is going to guide you to plan your wedding to make your your wedding a successful one a stress-free one and a smooth one like i'm going to be giving you guys the tips right now so let's get started the first step after engagement the first step you need to take after that proposal after the will you marry me and the old say yes I don't understand those people that used to say, say yes. So. Is it your yes? <laughs> After the old, say yes, say yes, say yes. What next? What is the first thing you have to do? My dear sister, my dear brother, because two parties are actually involved. My, sis my dear sister and brother, the first thing you need to do is to do what? Breathe. I mean, relax, chill. I know you're expecting something different, but trust me, enjoy the moment. Enjoy being engaged. At least, you know the, that feeling that you get to you like a step forward to spend the rest of your life with someone that you really care for someone you really love like you need to enjoy the moment call your family call your friends announce tell everybody pay i'm engaged though <laughs> let everybody know that a ring is on the finger right now post picture on social media document your engagement or the proposal moment keep watching the video post the video Ah, just, just enjoy the moment. Enjoy being engaged. It's actually a different feeling entirely. Like you need to enjoy it. Relax, chill. At least for four weeks. Trust me, four weeks. Think of nothing other than the engagement. On other than, think of nothing other than that day that you said yes to someone you really love, someone you care about. If some that person that you want to spend the rest of your life with, just think about that day. And just enjoy the moment. Enjoy being engaged. Call your family and friends. And now tell everyone that the girl is engaged. So the number two step you need to do now is to do what? Pick a date. Are you writing that? Like, I need you guys to pick your pen and paper. Our uh, engaged lady and guy. And those of you that, you just, they are going to engage some of you very soon, though. This 2021, no wedding go plenty, oh. All those weddings, they will be hanged in 2020. <laughs> they are going to be flying around everywhere this 2021, no. So, all of you should pick your biro and paper and start jotting down now. What did I say your number two is going to be? Pick a date. <laughs> you are going to actually find, you are going to see how it's going to be stressful to pick a date. It's like... It's going to be actually stressful. It's going to be difficult to pick a date, actually. But trust me, the first thing you have to do, in fact, I'm, I don't know, I need to bring God into it because God is everything. But pray about it. Pray about that date that you've picked. Pray about that day 
that you pray about it. Call your both family, both parents, both the guys' parents and the ladies' parents. Come together, discuss about picking a date. Then the, f the second thing you have to do is to do what? Pick a date. Because... <laughs> You're not the only one that is going to get married that year or that period. So you need to pick a date so that you'll be able to plan towards the date. If you have like a particular date that you're working towards, you'll be able to work towards the date. Not that you just be planning an event or even if you've not started planning, just know that this particular deal, that is when we are getting married. That is our wedding day. So you need to plan towards it. So the second step I'm going to give you is to do what? Pick a date. Call both parents. I don't, I'm not sure if you can pick your date alone. In an African home, you are from an African, if you have an African background like me or us, or those of us that are from African homes, you know that you cannot just walk out to your mom pay one you May 20s by when. <laughs> so you have to at least discuss with both parents that mommy, daddy, mommy, daddy from both parties, let's pick a date for the wedding. So pick a date. That's the first, second step. So the third step is to have a vision board. By vision board, I mean have a tone of your events on your head. This is it. Think of what you want your wedding to look like. And when, I'm, when I say sister and think of what you want your wedding to look like, I'm not talking about just the bride I'm, or the lady. I'm talking about both the guy and the lady, both the intending groom and the intending bride. Because, fine, we used to say, ah, the wedding is for the bride, but trust me, you're not getting married to yourself. <laughs> the wedding is not for the bride alone. You, can, you don't want to be happy on your wedding and your groom will not be happy. It doesn't make sense, actually. So the two of you, so the, both parties actually really need to sit down and talk about what they really want for their wedding. Like, have an idea of what you want for your wedding. Do you want to, do you want to have a formal wedding? Do you want a religious wedding? Do you want a small wedding? Do you want a parlor wedding? Do you want... Um, a big party you want it to be huge do you want do you want a theme wedding do you want to do a destination wedding like you need to sit down and think about all those things it's not just you cannot just there's no way you want to have your wedding and you don't have like an idea of what you want for your on your wedding day the two of you can actually fill out wedding questionnaires there are so many wedding questionnaires online check google check pinterest check youtube like there are so many in google is actually my own best friend and that's when you can actually discuss how much your wedding should cost how much because your idea your vision board your tone of events is going to it's going to determine how much you think your wedding should cost so you're going to this is the when you have to don't sit down and i'm don't don't sit down alone ladies don't sit down alone sit down with your guy the two of you should sit down and discuss it. It is not just your wedding. It is, it is two people that are coming together to become one. So it's not just your wedding. Sit down with your guy. Decide together what you want your wedding to look like. What you want to remember. What is the most important thing for your wedding? You guys should brainstorm. You know, I don't want you to feel the questionnaire differently. I want you guys to be together. So it's not be like, ah, you chose A, you chose B. Then you now start arguing about that. No, it's A that I, a that I want to. It's B I want to. So you guys want to pick A at the same time. You want to pick B at the same time. If you're having different opinions at that period, you'll be able to sort everything out immediately. So instead of just going back and forth about um, it was another thing you picked, it's actually better for you guys to do the thing at the same time. Do it at the same time. Let, let it just one paper. Just fill out just a paper and the two of you should work out on that paper. Don't, don't, don't make it feel like you are different. It's, 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 it's um, A, A words B. It's not A alone or B alone. A is going to word B. So you guys should come together to discuss this. Describe, brainstorm, just talk about everything, every little details about your wedding talk about it everything you need you need or you want what is going to be most important to you is it food is it alcohol is it the uh, music is it decor talk about it so you guys should decide do you want to have a theme wedding a destination wedding do you want to um have a huge wedding a small wedding a parlor wedding a a just decide on anything. Just have an idea. You can go to IG. You can check on Instagram. There are so many 
um, wedding pages on Instagram. You can check so many ideas on pin interest too. Trust me, you are going to get different ideas. So you guys should brainstorm. Talk about every little details. I mean, every little details concerning your wedding. And then the next step is to do what? Get a journal. Get a journal. Get a planner. You don't want to have everything on your head. You don't want to forget about anything. You don't want to be going back and forth with your guy like, the guy said, I thought he said B. And you're like, no, we concluded on A. And he's like, where is the evidence to actually say that? Okay, fine. It was A we concluded on. So get a planner, get a journal, document everything you said in the second step. Everything you said about your vision of events, everything you said about your tone of events, document everything so that you won't, you won't forget. You don't want to... Don't just don't just don't have anything on your head. Don't don't think of having every, every anything on your head. Write every every single details you discussed. Write it down. The fifth step now is to set a budget, guys. As you're about to say, oh, in Keken, Lily, whether you want to have a big wedding or small wedding, wedding is expensive. I'm actually serious right now. No matter how small you want your wedding to be. It is expensive. Wedding is expensive. So you need to set a budget so as not to spend out of, out of, so as not to spend extra or spend out of your normal budget. Check your finances and your figures. Check the amount of money you saved. Are you going to get money for your wedding from your previous savings? Or you are still intending to get money from your salary that you are going to get before the wedding? Are you guys contributing money together? Is it both parties? Is it the guy and the lady that are dropping money for the wedding? Ask your parents if they are contributing to the wedding. Both, both parties should ask both parents if they are contributing to the wedding. And if they say they are contributing, ask them how much they want to contribute. Or if there is a, a particular part of the wedding they really want to... Um, if, there is a part, if, there is, if there is a specific thing they want to foot the bill if there's a specific thing they want to pay for ask them you guys should set everything if there's another person or another family member you feel they are going to be willing to sponsor your wedding talk to them let's know every amount each person is willing to draw and i strongly advise you to do what avoid debt like magic is to your wedding no no oh don't owe for your wedding don't don't owe for your wedding. Avoid death because after wedding, you're supposed to be married. You're supposed to live together. You don't want to spend the few months of your marriage paying debt. Come on, some be say. You don't want to do that. I strongly advise you to avoid debt. Do what you can do. If you actually set your budget, trust me, you won't, you won't spend more than. You should not spend more than your budget. That's it. If you set your budget, don't spend more than it. So the sixth step now is to do what? Get a wedding planner. <laughs> I don't I don't know how I'm going to emphasize how important this step is. But guys, get a wedding planner. <laughs> wedding is stressful. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be available on your wedding. You're not going to be running about on your wedding. You're not going to be Checking what is happening on the table on your wedding. Get a wedding planner. I mean, okay, fine. If you don't even want to get a wedding planner, or if you cannot afford a wedding planner, get a coordinator. You need someone to coordinate your events. You don't want your wedding to be rowdy, um, disorganized. You don't want that. So please just get get a wedding planner. Or if you cannot afford to get a wedding planner, just get a coordinator. Or just get anyone that is going to run your wedding except you. The second step is to secure a venue. S some wedding, some event centers are actually booked a year in advance. So the earlier you start booking, the the more the more likely you'll be able to get your suitable time, your dates, and um, the cost you've actually planned for. So start securing your venue. You're not the only one that is going to get married that day. Trust me, especially if you are going to get married around November, December, January, February, March. Weddings are actually, that's like the peak period for weddings. And you need to start looking for the venue that will accommodate your preference. You know, I went for like an all, I went to check a hall for an event one time like that. And when we got there, they were like, ah, 
they put off the gym by 6 p.m. You that you want to have after party, how are you going to cope with all that they put off the gym, that they put off the gym by 6 p.m.? You don't want to get that type of all. So you know what? Move to the next move to the next place or next event center or next all. So you need that is ask, go to the venue, ask every details, ask every question, ask them about all their facilities, ask them about their AC, their fans, their toilets. You don't want your guests to be messing around the event center. You don't want them to be stranded. They need to use the toilets. Check if they have um, suitable, good toilets. Check if they have changing room. You need to change, especially if you're having um, your engagement or your, your engagement, white wedding in the same place. You need to get a changing room. Check if they have changing room. Check if the, um, they have security. Check if the environment, the all itself is suitable for the type of wedding. You really want to have because not all all not all us actually we accommodate your preference so you need to ask them every details do they put on the gen for you is the gen standby like immediately they take the lights then the gen is coming on or the gen is going to be on 24 hours 247 till you leave what time do they close what time do they um what time do they close the venue you don't want to have an after party you don't want to plan for after party to end 10 p.m. Then they, they start coming to chase you out around 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. That they need to log the event center. So ask, check, check for everything. Ask them about, ask about every single details, everything that matters to you. Ask them. And then please, I'm begging you, secure your venue on time. You don't want your, you know, when, when is that, when, is the, when, when you don't secure your venue on time, then like two months to your wedding. You now start asking, you now start looking for venue, and they start telling you that ah, so, uh, May 20 is booked though. May 50, May, I said May 50, and they start telling you that May 20 is booked though. May 25 is booked though, but um, we have August, August is available. Then because you don't have any choice, you have to go for August. So they are changing your wedding dates for you. So the all center. Or the event center is picking your wedding date for you. You don't want them to pick your wedding date for you. You want to you want to be able to you want to be able to pick your choice. You have different choices pick. So that's why you need to secure your venue on time. So the eighth step now is to do what? Save a date. You need to send out save a date. You can send it online or via IV paper. Just send save a date. Let your guests know where you are having your events let them know when you are having your events if you are going to send out ashwabi later let them know you are still sending ashwabi if you are not going to send out ashwabi let them know you are not sending ashwabi and tell them type of clothes you want them to wear if you want if you have like a specific color or colors you want them to wear let them know some of your guests are not in the country so they need to fly down to the country so you cannot just come like few few weeks or few months to your wedding and start telling them that you want to get married they have things to do they have plans they have schedules so they, you need to send out save a date so they will know that so they would have put it in their calendar or in their diary that a wedding is coming up on so 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 day too so you need to send out save a date so that they will know there are some actually there are some guests that are coming from another part of the country especially if you are not getting married in your usual location let's say you know some 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 people travel to their hometown to get married. So let's say you have your friends around Lagos and you are going to another state to get married. So they need to, they will have to move down to that other state. And this is where you are going to pick your what? Your bridal train. That is another important thing. Pick your bridal train already. You don't want to tell your best man few days to your wedding that, guy, now you go best meal guy i want you to best me no don't do that they have plans you have friends how are they supposed to know that you are going to pick them so let them know ask for permission guy i want you to be my best man guy would you like to be, be my best man guy be my best man if it is the bride to my friend don't to be my bride chief bridesmaid i know let them know ask for permission you know it's going to cost them so they need to prepare or save up for it so the next nice step is to book your main vendors you want to book your ketra you want to book um your drinks 
you want to book someone that is going to support the vendor for your drinks you want to book um the vendor for your cake you want to book the vendor for your decor you want to book the vendor for your um, makeup you, you want to book your makeup artist every your main vendors your main vendors i think the main vendors are actually like your food drinks music dj chairman mc of the event you want to book your main vendor step is to do what book your honeymoon uh -uh. after wedding we are doing it. <laughs> honeymoon is the next thing oh you don't want to be stranded you don't want to be stranded on your wedding day of thinking of where to go to so book your honeymoon ahead if you are going to bahamas if you are going to dubai if you are going to paris if you are going to um wherever you want to go to if it's going to be outside the country <laughs> you need to dust your passports Check if there is if you are going to need a particular visa to get to where you want to to get to the destination. Just you need to start planning your honeymoon, especially if you are going outside the country. You need to start planning your honeymoon. Check if your girl or your guy has passports. Um, book your if you are going to book your flight already. You can book your flight. Just read up about where you are going to research about where you want to go to. Make reservations. Um, make reservations about your your where you are going to lodge make reservations about um everything you will need at the destination so you need to book your honeymoon ahead if you are going to how you are going to get to the honeymoon you need to plan everything how you are going to transport yourself if it's going to be within the country how you are going to get to the place if you are going to go to the airport straight from your wedding you need to plan all those stuff now last step i'm going to be giving you a bonus tip is to do what go for shopping it's time to shop for your gown that beautiful wedding dress it's time to shop for it you know if you are not going to rent or you are not going to buy a ready-made you know they have to make it for you so <laughs> you need to start as soon as possible they need to start making it because i think making wedding dresses actually take quite it actually takes longer so you need to book your wedding you need to go shopping shop for the shoes for the jewelry for the your dress for the groom to shop your suit the last but not the least i'm going to tell you is to do what relax trust me if you follow all these steps if you follow these tips you're going to have a successful stress-free and smooth wedding you don't want to be doing what you're supposed to do first last you don't want to be doing what you're supposed to last for drink a lot of water eat vegetables eat fruits you want to look sweet pink on that day now now one time thing you know. so you want to look pink on that day for spa treatments relax chill just don't stress yourself trust me if you follow this step you don't even need to stress yourself don't stress yourself too much when you are when it's getting to the wedding day, don't stress yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of your skin. Just try and make yourself look good on that. In my subsequent videos, I'm going to be breaking each step down. There are so many things that are involved in each step. So, <laughs> so many things. Wedding day, no be play play. Oh. There are so many things that are involved in each step. But I'm going to be discussing them in my subsequent videos that will be all for now so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up please like my videos please like my videos don't forget like it right now like it now if you are still watching this video right now thank you so much so please like my videos don't forget to give me a thumbs up i want you guys to comment down below tell me what you think did you find this video useful did you find this post useful are you going to make use of the steps please comment and let me know what you guys think and don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye